We're going to start lying down on our backs. Legs are long. Palms are facing down. Go ahead and take a moment to roll your shoulders down your back. And just take a moment to close your eyes and arrive for a second. From here, you're going to gently start to press the balls of your feet forwards, creating a rocking motion throughout your body. And you'll notice your whole spine sliding along the floor. Your head starts to bobble a little bit. Your chin starts to move up and down. And you can take this at whatever rhythm or cadence feels good. Pressing a little bit more throughout the balls of your feet. Go ahead and close your eyes. And exhale deeply. Rocking back and forth. We'll do this for about 20 more seconds. Continue to press and rock. As you rock, tension is falling off of your body. And again, just exhale, releasing anything that you don't need. And when you're ready, bring that to a pause. Notice if just from that 40 seconds of rocking, if your body feels any different, you feel like you've released some tension. And when you're ready, draw your belly button in to bring your knees in towards your seat and extend one arm long and roll on over to your side. One arm is long in front of you. Knees are bent. They're at a 90 degree angle with your hips. Ankles are stacked on top of each other. Place one hand down in front of your chest. And then you're gonna take these little side rocking movements. And we're gonna, again, be here for about 40 seconds to a minute. So you can close your eyes and let yourself just rock along the rib cage, forwards and backwards. Releasing any jaw tension, exhaling any energy that you don't need down into the floor. Imagine that someone is caringly pressing on your sacrum to begin this movement for you. So it's almost like there's some kind invisible hand that's moving your pelvis for you to initiate this movement. And continue rocking. And when you're ready, bring that to a pause. And for you, go ahead and roll onto your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And I'm going to sit up and roll to the other side. But you can just roll along your back so it's the laziest transition possible. Hey, you. <clears throat> Have one arm long and extend it out in front of you. One arm is, one hand is down by your chest. And then just take a moment To start the rocking, you can even imagine that the invisible hand is behind your back right from the beginning, pressing your sacrum forward to initiate this movement. <clears throat> and rocking along your side, letting your ribs roll on the ground. Gentle, calming, rocking position. The rhythm of the rocking will get your body out of the sympathetic nervous system and into the parasympathetic nervous system. So it'll actually, that's why we rock babies and why rocking chairs are so relaxing. 
And when you're ready, you can bring that to a pause. Take a deep exhale. And slowly roll over onto your stomach. You're gonna place your hands down, one on top of the other, and then place your forehead on top of your hands. Let your elbows fall super wide, and then just take a second to relax your chest down into the floor. From here, you're going to start to shift your hips side to side. And let your rib cage feel heavy along the floor. If you need to place a blanket underneath you so it's a little bit softer of a surface, you can do that. So just rocking side to side with your hips. And when you're ready, bring that to a pause. And from here, I'm going to move a little bit forward so that you can see my heels. You can stay where you are. Same position where your hands are creating a little pillow for your forehead. And you're just going to shift your heels to your right and then shift them to the left. And what can you let go of as you move your legs and shift your heels over to the right? and over to your left. And we can start to speed up the rhythm of that a little bit. Shift, 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 shift. You'll notice that your hips are rocking too. And you'll kind of feel your legs almost like noodles coming out of your pelvis. This is really super good. Really relaxing for your hip joints allowing you to release any extra tension out of your body, releasing anything that you don't need to keep inside your body down into the ground. We'll do this for about 10 more seconds. Take a couple deep inhales and exhale hot air out. Heels shifting right to left thighs rolling on the ground and when you're ready bring that to a pause shifting out the nervous energy any tension or contractions out of our body just take a moment as lazily as you can to roll on over to your side And then you're going to roll onto your back and bend your knees. I'm going to move so you can see me a little bit better. Bring your palms down, roll your shoulders down your back, 10 toes facing forwards. And just take a second to notice how your body feels. Can you feel your sacrum? resting heavier along the floor, hips are heavy, back of your scapula resting down into the ground. We're going to take our knees a little bit to your right and then back through the middle and take your knees a little bit to your left. and back through the middle. Let's play with our range a bit. Take them a little bit further to your right. So maybe about four or five inches to your right, rolling along your sacrum. And then back through your center. And take a pause when you get into your midline. And then take your knees a little bit bigger, rolling back to your left, four or five inches, and back through your center. 
And now let's see how small we can make this movement. So take it really small and see if you can just roll your knees, just maybe like a half an inch to an inch to your right. And then back through your midline, back through your center. And to your left. And back through your center. And notice what felt better for you along your sacrum and your lower back. Did it feel better to go big four to five inches or was half an inch or one inch actually more satisfying for you? And there's no wrong answer to that question. Everyone's body is different, but we're gonna repeat the movement a few more times and go at whatever range felt the best on your body. If you're not sure, go ahead and take it about two inches to your right and two inches to your left. And as I'm rolling my knees right and left, I'm gonna just repeat this and make it really smooth and even as though I'm like in Hawaii. It's my fourth day there. I'm just sitting on the beach and I have absolutely no agenda, nothing to do. And I decided to do this movement on the sand along the floor, feeling my sacrum just for fun because it's vacation and I'm lazy. And notice how this lazy feeling really relaxes your body. You can also imagine, we'll keep doing this about 30 more seconds. You can also imagine that your sacrum is placing an ink blot on the floor. And if you're visual, that might be a really interesting thing for you to imagine that you're leaving some sort of ink print with your sacrum along the floor. Rolling your knees. And take one more in each direction. Keeping it at a nice, slow pace, relaxing your stomach. Relaxing your jaw. And bring that to a pause. And go ahead and extend your legs nice and long. Resting your body down, down, down into the floor. We're gonna do two more things for tension release out of your body. The first one, you're going to actually squeeze all of the muscles in your legs as tight as you can. Squeeze, 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 and release. Let's coordinate that with our breath. Squeeze as you inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Your thigh muscles, your toes, your feet, your calves, as many muscles as you can squeeze at one time. You can move around, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. We'll move into the, the glutes. So you're gonna squeeze your seat as much as you can. Squeeze, 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 inhale, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. And let's do it one more time. Inhale, squeezing your glutes, squeezing as much through your pelvis as you can. Even the internal muscles in your pelvis, if you can feel them, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale. Release. And do the same thing with the shoulder blades. You're actually going to imagine your scapula squeezing your spine in. So let's give it a nice inhale and squeeze your scapula into your spine. Press your shoulders down into the floor. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze through your chest. 
and exhale. Release. Let's do the same thing, but add our arms. You're going to bring tension into your fingers and into your arm muscles, your biceps, your triceps as well. Inhale, squeeze through your scapula into your spine, pressing down. And now extend your arms and see if you can stretch them long and tense up your fingers. And exhale, release. You may notice that your state of mind is starting to change as you do this. That's fantastic. It's what we're going after. And we'll do final tense and release exercise in your face and in your neck. So you're gonna squeeze your face muscles and your cheeks, you'll move them around, squeezing your forehead, your neck, Moving your jaw, squeeze as much as you can. You'll make several weird faces and release. And one more time, squeezing throughout your face, scrunching your nose, extending your eyebrows upwards and downwards, moving your lips, tensing and pursing your lips, opening them wide and squeezing your neck and your jaw. And exhale, release. Take a second, just breathe. Final thing, go ahead and warm up your hands. And you're going to place the palms of your hands into your eye sockets and let them rest downwards. Elbows start to fall downwards. Shoulder blades fall into the floor. Your eyes will feel very black in terms of that you'll just see darkness. And make sure the rest of your body is relaxed. Just to give you a road map, we'll stay here for about 20 to 30 seconds. Inhale. And exhale. This blocks any light from your eyes and therefore your occipital lobe and your occipital nerve can relax is really good if you have insomnia or headaches and can relieve migraines as well. Take one final inhale and one final exhale. And gently float the heels of your hands off your eyes. It's okay if Keep your eyes closed and it's okay if it takes you a second to come back. And when you're ready, you can start to wiggle your fingers and toes and calmly open your eyes. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like. Just notice if your body feels different feel more relaxed after going through that progression.